How you doing, good people? This is the 8-Bit Animal. Okay, so... First of all, pardon my voice. Um, I was at a Saints game last night, and... Yeah, I'm hoarse now. But that's beside the point. Today's game is actually the NES port of a landmark PC title. Um, the original game was made in 1989. This, in, this port is from 1992. The original game was designed by Jordan Mechner. Mechner I never could get his name correct. But it's such an innovative title and it brought so much to the to the table in terms of gameplay that it is and deservingly so on a lot of all-time greatest games lists um it's a platformer and it's unique because not only has it been ported to a whole lot of different consoles and platforms but the base story that this game is based that this game is following actually was the inspiration behind Disney's Aladdin today's game you know Prince of Persia now, Prince of Persia, this port at least, it's it may be the weakest port of Prince of Persia. And, you know, that's a hard thing to say, but the game is, this game has such a high watermark. The PC version is incredible. The Sega CD version that I played is an incredible port of this game. The port for the SNES that was published by Konami added some things to it and you know it it actually enhanced a whole lot. This version, however, it's a straight port of the PC game albeit with some graphical limitations because you know it's a NES game um storyline wise basically while the Sultan is away at war his vizier Jafar takes power and with the Sultan's daughter being the only resistance to him having complete power he locks her away in a tower and throws her lover into the castle dungeon. And you have about an hour to defeat him and rescue your girlfriend, the princess, before the vizier forces her to marry him. Um, now you have to avoid traps. Um, puzzles you have to beat puzzles and you have to fight off a series of gods in order to get to the princess and the vizier problem is in this port the control is really really flawed it's nowhere near as tight as the control in other versions of this game and that is the great travesty with this port of prince of persia because it's so spot on everywhere else. As far as the animation, it's you know it's f extremely fluid, especially for an NES title. Gameplay wise, it's not a bad game, but the control, the control is so flawed. I, honestly, I can't say that I can recommend this game because the control is so flawed. Um. And that's pretty much my issue with this port of Prince of Persia. Everything else works, but the most important thing that should work doesn't. And at the end of the day, if you don't have solid control in a platformer, 
there's no point in playing it. So I recommend Prince of Persia as a whole, but I can't say I recommend the NES version. Um, if you have a Super NES, get the Super NES version. If you have a Genesis, get the Genesis version. If you have a Sega CD, definitely get the Sega CD version. And, you know, it it's just, it's one of those things, I guess. But, this has been a bit animal, and I'm going to drink some hot tea. I'm going to find a better version of this, and I will catch you beautiful people tomorrow.